The art of the upset. Will anyone be able to create one against undefeated Kentucky? Well, only time will tell. Hi everyone, I'm Ray Crawford. Up right now on Campus Insiders, we count down the top five streak stoppers in all of sports. And on that list, Notre Dame basketball, who under Digger Phelps, pull off more than a few upsets of top teams. Coach joins us now, and let's go back to 1974. UCLA had won 88 straight games under John Wooden. When your team beat them, what stands out from that game? Well, John Wooden wrote a book, They Call Me Coach. And in that book, he stated, you shouldn't call timeouts during the game. It's a sign of weakness. And if you do everything in practice, there's no need to call a timeout. Well, we're down 11 with 3.22 to go. We call timeout to make some adjustments. We come back out. We score six straight points. When we cut it to three, Bill Walton looks over to the bench of John Wooden like, are we going to call timeout to break their momentum? Nothing. They come down, miss a shot, we come down. Gary Brokaw scores on the left wing. We cut it to one. And you can see Bill Walton on his game pants signaling to Wooden, timeout, no, nothing. Now they miss a shot, we come down. Dwight Clay hits a shot in the corner for us to go up, making it happen where we win this game. But John Wooden would not call timeout. We held them scoreless the last 22 seconds after they did call timeout, and we win this game by one point. Wow, great wow. story. All right, let's get some more here. Uh, Sports Illustrated put Bill Cartwright and the Dandy Dons from San Francisco on the cover when they started the 1977 season 29-0, and and there was the Irish again pulling off the upset. What stood out from that game? We had a pep rally night before the game, and I told the student body, show up and forget we are ND. We are ND. I want 29-1. and 29-1. and one. We won that game, and what happened to us was with that student body showing up an hour before the game yelling that 29-1, and one, we get in their heads. Duck Williams has a great game, and about 10 seconds ago, we're up double figures. NBC makes the announcement, and then the PA announcer in the ACC makes the announcement. Most valuable player of the game, Notre Dame student body. And that's the reason why we won that game. The students wouldn't let up. Oh, what a great story. Uh, now let's go ahead a few years later in 1981. Now you brought your team over to Chicago to face seven foot four Ralph Sampson and first ranked Virginia at 23 and 0. You beat them by one point. How'd you do it? What we felt was if we can double team Sampson the whole game. So we played a one three one zone, had the high post and the low post double team him, had our wings drop to the corners to guard their shooters and played the guards one on two. <laughs> And their guards weren't shooters. And that's how we controlled the game. But we stole it. We're down six with a minute and a half to go. We pressed them. They turned the ball over. Loose ball on an out-of-bounds play. Woodward gets it, throws it into the buzzer. We win that game. How about it? All right, now let's go ahead to the late 80s now. Uh, North Carolina, 16-0. They come into South Bend in 1987. Tell us about that upset. Well, Dean Smith's zone offense, as creative as he was, he, for some reason, liked this box overload uh, as a zone offense. And what I mean is, a guy in the left low block, left corner, left wing, left high post, and another player on the opposite side. They flip flop back and forth. We felt if we could get the lead, and we did with four minutes to go, go to the 1 3 1 zone. Jeff Lebo took a shot on the left wing. They couldn't get offensive rebounds because their players were in that box overload. We controlled the boards, controlled the end of the game with a 1 3 1 zone, and upset number one, North Carolina. Unbelievable. And you lost to North Carolina, though, weeks later in the tournament, but another considered to be a classic in the series between these two schools. Some great stories of some upsets, and uh, thanks for taking us down memory lane, Digger. Okay, Ray. For more Digger on College Hoops, be sure to check out the other videos here on Campus Insiders. I'm Ray Crawford. Thanks for watching.